Cheesecake. You never make it because it's just too much work. It's dense and way too rich to enjoy. This recipe is just the opposite. The no-bake crust makes it super easy and the addition of whipped egg whites makes it light and fluffy. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, or d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep this all very simple, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't do it. We know that you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and get a new episode every single week. Now today's celebration is kind of extra special. We're celebrating my husband's birthday. And he doesn't like a big fuss, but we're doing a little something for him. And we have a very special recipe. It's cheesecake with strawberries. Now this recipe comes from my friend Lance, who has been here before. And he's gonna come in and he's gonna show me how to make this cheesecake. So Lance, come on in. Hi, Peter. All right, so we got a lot of stuff here. Where do we start? Well, first you need a springform pan, so I can let you describe that. So, springform pan looks like this. It's a metal pan. It has a little lever on it, so the sides will come off, and then the bottom will drop off. And they're really great for cheesecake, so that way you can get them out. Now, what we've done is we've prepared this. I cut out a little piece of parchment. All I did was I took this, the bottom of the pan out, I traced it, cut out the parchment, and put that on the bottom of the pan. Now, why did we do that? The reason why we go and put parchment in the bottom of the pan is to prevent the cheesecake from sticking. And you never want to use oil when cooking a cheesecake. Mm. Okay, there's a little tip. So, this crust, we're going to get that done first. What do we do here? What we've done is we've taken butter crackers and crushed them. This is a no-bake crust cheesecake, which makes it very simple and easy. Okay, so you see? So all we've done is we've put some in the bag, about 30 of them, and then we just crush them up with our hands. And I think these are just going to go in in an even layer. Correct, you're just gonna pour them in the pan, and you're gonna just spread them out evenly in the bottom of the pan. Now, what if I don't have butter crackers? Can I use another? You can use any non-flavored cracker okay. that you have. And that's that. How simple. That's it, right? That's it. Okay, let's put this aside. Now, for the filling is next. I know we need our mixer. I know if you don't have a stand mixer, you can do it with a hand mixer. So how do we get started? And I see we have some cream cheese. How much is this? This is two pounds of cream cheese that you've sliced previously. So. Right, all I did was I sliced it up. This is all at room temperature, and that's very important when you're baking. You want the cream cheese to be soft. You want everything at the same temperature so it all amalgamates together. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in, and we're gonna turn the, the cream cheese in. and turn it on the, on the mixer. Notice we're using the whisk attachment and not the paddle. And that's because, correct me if I'm wrong, that we want this to get whipped up and light and fluffy. And you'll get that with the whisk. Yes, if you use okay. the pedal, it'll just stick to the bottom. So we're just gonna add this a little bit at a time. Yes. Okay. Now, since you have all the cream cheese in the bowl, you just wanna turn the mixer up onto high and let it run for a few minutes. At this point, we're gonna turn it off and scrape down the sides and pull it into the center. And why are we doing that? Because you want all the cream cheese to be fluffy. The stuff on the side will not become fluffy unless you pull it back into the center. So always scrape down your sides. Mm -hmm. At this point, we're gonna turn the beaters down to about medium and start adding in the eggs. Then we'll add in the sugar, and then we'll add in the vanilla. Okay, so I have four egg yolks here. I started out with four whole eggs, and all I did was I separated them. Now, what does that mean? That means I separated the whites from the yolks. I just cracked an egg, 
tipped it between my pans so I had the whites in one bowl and the yolks in another. Now I reserve the whites because we're gonna use them a little later. So we're just gonna start adding these in. One by one. And it goes pretty quickly. Okay. Give it a good whisk to combine. Now you're gonna add in the sugar. So this is, this is one and one third cup of sugar. We're just gonna slowly pour it in. All right. And finally, we have a tablespoon of vanilla, which is gonna pour in as well. We're gonna let this mix for just another minute or two. So we let it mix for about another minute, just so all the ingredients are combined. So all total, this has been about five minutes that we've been working on this cheesecake. It goes really, really fast. And that's what we have, this beautiful, beautiful mixture. But we're not quite done. We're gonna need to whip some egg whites. Now I'm gonna take a moment, clear off my whisk, clear the decks, and then we're gonna add the egg whites. Okay, now here we are with our egg whites. These are the egg whites from the four eggs that we separated earlier. We're gonna put these in the mixing bowl and we're gonna whisk them. Again, whisking, I've got my whisk attachment right here and we're gonna pour these in. We want to whisk them until they're stiff peaks. One well, stiff peaks, that's correct. Now I'll show you what that is when we get there. This will just take a couple minutes. Start out a little lower so they get, start to get fluffy, and then you're gonna turn this puppy up to high. And just let it sit for a minute. All right, now this took three or four minutes, and we're at the stiff peak stage. Now watch what happens. I take my whisk, and see you get very, very stiff and wonderful should do that. Now, this was just egg whites. A lot of times people want to add cream of tartar, like a meringue, you don't need to. Just the egg whites. Now, the next part is pretty simple. We're going to add this back to our cream cheese mixture. And just fold in. So folding, what's folding? We're gonna put a little bit of this in first, right in the center. It's gonna help temper it and get it used to it. So you just start in the center, bring it up and fold. Bring it up and fold, just like this. You don't wanna stir because that's going to deflate the egg whites. You just wanna fold them in. And you can just add this a little bit at a time, or a lot of time. Now Lance, why are we adding whipped egg whites? What is this going to do? What this does is it makes it a slightly less dense, fluffier type of cheesecake. It's not gonna be as dense as a New York style cheesecake. Okay, so this is going to lighten it up. Correct. All right. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so we're just gonna quickly fold this in. Almost done. You notice I'm turning the bowl as I do it. That just helps with getting it folded in evenly. So I think done. we're about ready to get this in the crust to go into the oven. Let's clear off the decks quickly. So we have our crust that we did earlier, which is just the crackers in the bottom of the bowl. Now I'm gonna grab a great big spoon because we wanna spoon this in. We don't want to just pile it in or pour it. We wanna very carefully spoon, and I think a big spoon will be better than the spatula, don't you? Correct. So as you showed me, we're just gonna take piles, big scoop, carefully just spoon it in. Until you cover the crust. Don't worry if it's not perfectly, it'll all smooth out.
Again, easy. You're just spooning it in. And since it's soft, it's all going to level out all by itself. And once you get the crust covered, you can kind of scrape it in. You just don't want to pour it in at the beginning because you don't want to disturb the crust on the bottom. Because it was a no-bake crust. All right, so that's that. Now, Lance, you showed me one more trick with this. This, and correct me if I'm wrong, because of the egg whites, this cream cheese, cream cheese mixture is going to puff up as it's baking, almost like a souffle. So what we want to do is put a collar. So I have a big, long piece of foil, and we just fold it in half. We Fold it out, fold it in half lengthwise. And we're just going to wrap this around, is that correct? Correct. And we wrap this around the pan. Keep it upright. And just fold over slightly. And what that's going to do is keep this from overflowing in the pan. So it's going to rise up and while it's baking then it's going to go back down. But it's still going to be very, very light. You just don't want it to fall out of your pan all over your oven. Now, this is going to go into a 350 degree oven that we've already preheated. We're going to bake this. This is very important for exactly one hour. And then you turn off the oven, you leave it sit for four to five hours. Do not be a looky loo. Do not open that oven. I know you're going to want to. You want to smell it and look at it, but don't do it because if you do, you're going to have big cracks in it. So we're going to go off to the ovens. Here we are, we're out of the oven. Now, you're seeing a slightly different pan. That's because this cheesesteak takes, we baked for an hour, and then sitting in the oven that you have not opened for four to five hours to cool. We made this one last night. Now you can actually let it sit in the oven overnight and you will be fine, as long as the oven's turned off. Just make sure of that. Now we're gonna get ready to make this pretty. Now when we took it out of the oven, we removed the collar, and we just put some foil on it and we put it in the fridge to let it get really, really super chilled. So what do we do next? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the foil. We're gonna take a butter knife. We're going to pop open the pan and we're gonna cut all the way around the cheesecake along the edge of the pan, just to loosen it. All right, we're gonna take that back we're gonna pull the spring form back closed again. We're gonna put the foil over it. We're gonna take a pan plate, flip the pan upside down, release. I'll take that. Like how I made him do the hard part. We're going to lift the pan off and then look. That parchment paper peels right off. And you see the crust perfect. Now you take a pan plate again that you're gonna use, put it down, flip, take the plate away, take the foil away, and there, your cheesecake is now plated perfectly. Look how beautiful. Can you see how pretty that really is? It looks delicious. Now we're gonna decorate it. Yes. Show them how you decorate it, and I will get our things, because after we decorate it, we're gonna to go to our favorite part, the tasting. You'll notice that these little strawberries are cut in half, and all I did was I sliced the top off, turned them up, chopped them right in half. And all we're going to do is just place the strawberries around the cheesecake. And this is easy. Now, what if you don't like strawberries? You can use blueberries, you could use peaches, you could use any kind of fruit that you want. Or you can even use a um, homemade sauce on here, fruit sauce. And this does not be perfect. Don't worry about, oh, they're not lining up. They're... It's homemade. It would be beautiful. Anything with fresh fruit is going to just be beautiful. Okay, look how pretty that is. We just laid them on there kind of haphazardly, as I always say, artfully, messily. It's all good. Now, let's get to our favorite part. 
Wine glass for me, a wine glass for you. Now I like to cut cheesecakes and things with a nice sharp knife. But since this is yours, cake, you can do the honors. All right. So we'll just cut across the cheesecake. And we'll just take a small little slice. We can share a slice. And there you go. Okay. Let's give a taste. All right. Things we do for our audience. Delicious. Mmm. This cheap cake. It's light. It's just a little sweet. It's not overly sickingly sweet like some cheesecakes can be. It's not dense. It's fluffy. And it's just complex. And the fresh fruit on top is what makes it. So, a little wine. This is our local wine. Wash it down. Mmm. Now, as always, gang, I'm gonna have this recipe and instructions and everything you need to know all up on YouTube and on Facebook. Keep sending us in those comments and questions and pictures. We love them and we always answer every single one. So as always, we will see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. because you're all invited to come on over, come on in and let's celebrate. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>